very quick look at the analysis on that because it was uh, very speedy okay so we opened up captured captured yeah it's at this point here I don't really like this knight move but it, it supports it um, bringing the bishop here not, this knight's not got anything attacking it at the minute it just seems a little bit lame but if you have a look at the picture we ended up in that position anyway because of the pawn pushing but for now I'll work with it so we'll come through here the bishop's now attacking this pawn uh, the weak pawn but it's not got any support with it at the moment so it's nothing major and so they castled then we castled and then this this is the magical pawn pushing situation now so it's not to fret got to support this pawn because this knight is chomping at the bit to get this pawn uh, so we can reposition our knight and we can reposition the knight so there's no problems there the downside to for black is that he hasn't developed any of his pieces some people can make it work um but you have to really still have good position for your pieces after you've done your pawn pushing so now they're attacking single attack with the bishop captures captures so if you have a look at the position on the board now we have more pieces that are more or less working together knight bishop rook queen all ready to actually get into the game unfortunately the opponent's pieces are still on the back and it's only got the queen actually in the game so we can defend move and then attack so it's attacking the pawn it's uh, attacking the queen and i believe what they saw was the attack of the pawn with the rook coming to protect and they forgot that the knight was and that was the end of the game so yeah it's being mindful of your position on the board especially when you're doing pawn pushes are they supporting each other and key thing is are you developing your other pieces and working them together as a team ten minute game just attack this pawn here it's weak let's just attack this pawn and the simple thing is here I'm not liking this knight move much lately you know supporting this pawn I'm going to try and find something different in my in my armour but for now I'll stick with it just doesn't seem to do a right lot on just blocking this pawn here so I need to find something else don't want to bring the bishop there because it's blocking my queen and now it's going for a double door so let's just uh, bring the rook here attacking the bishop we can bring it back here there's nothing attacking the knight at the minute the knight doesn't have any protect oh he's lazy he's being lazy pawn pushing okay so we can bring this here bishop's protecting this pawn lazy lazy player oh yuck uh, how can they live with themselves okay he's got a two on one here so we can attack this pawn you ever see the pawn push like that um don't deny it you know um let it be what it's going to be so he's taken our knight so we could take his knight He's going to be a pawn up. Okay. So happy with that situation now. And going to take here, but then his queen is going to attack. So then the knight just jumps here, protecting. So now he's trying to get rid of our knight. So there's one of two things that can happen here. Just move the knight out of the way, the king out of the way. He'll still continue with this move. His motor set to continue with that, and way more to set to continue attacking the queen, attacking the pawn, trying to improve our position. Nice diagonal towards this pawn here. 
just need to get supporting pieces rooks looking nice facing off the king area need to get the queen activated it's a bit jammed in at the moment so we're going to take the queen because they seem to have um, either okay and they've resigned so that was <laughs> i think that was a typical example of speed pawn pushing and pieces not working together i can't say that often enough